welcome back to another motor vlog. Uh, I'm actually somewhere different today. I thought I'd go somewhere I've never been, something I've forgotten in the same road. Um, so I'm over near Preston, and I'm actually in a little town called Longridge. Never been here before. Um, so much flapping about. Oh yeah, it's the, uh, the bloody um, strap on the uh, helmet came somewhere, so that's no good. The plastic thing that goes into the buckle looks like a giant um, zip tie thing. Uh, it's fell off somewhere, so I need to go see, see if I'm not a new one for the eBay or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've never been here before. Close the road, that's what I'm going towards. Is it? No, probably not. No, I'm going to for it. Uh, so I've, been, I've had headphones in, listening to like, some good tunes on that one. Dogging. <laughs> where are you going? Dogging. Sorry. Um, Ridgechester. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Ridgechester. Through Ridgechester into Ridgechester. Ridgechester's down there, I think. I have no idea. Ridgechester, what? There we are. Normally I'd do a video coming to here, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to uh, do a video going back. That's a nice option. Very boring, it's just looks nice. Well, that was fucking nice, I also had a giant glass window on it. I like looking at nice houses, and I don't know why. It's a bit of a boring town, this though. Like, I thought Longridge was like a really posh, nice town, but it's nice. Bit boring. There's like some nice houses down here, but back down there, it looks like it reminds me of Blackpool. And Blackpool is one of the scuffiest towns in the UK. And it's been voted in the worst ten, so yeah. Like it's got like a Blackpool style fish and chip shop, and it has a giant sign saying Blackpool that way. It's so quite close to Blackpool, to be honest. I am very close to Blackpool. I bet on a clear day you could probably see the tower from over here somewhere. And that's full speed, isn't it? That's my favourite road sign by far. Oh, love it. I got, a, I got the exhaust to pop for the first time the way here. It's only a minute. Uh, I did have a topic for, to talk about on today's video, but I can't remember what it was. Um, what was it? Uh, it was something to do with bikes. Like, uh, I was going to talk about what was it? Oh, should you buy a 125cc? That was the topic for today's video. I can't believe I forgot that shit. Um, so yeah, should you buy a 125cc from a 50cc? Uh, that's what I was going to talk about. Like upgrading from a 50cc onto a 125cc, should you do it? Uh, now there's a, there's a few reasons why you would, there's a few reasons why you won't. Uh, so I'll start off why you won't buy a 125cc after buying a 50cc. Um, now, if you're just looking for cheap transportation, to get A to B from work, say you live in a town and you're just getting in and out of like around town and shit, um, and that's all you use it for, then I'd probably stick with 50 cc for a bit, for a bit, like pointless upgrading if that's all you use it for, because uh, the price difference between 50 cc and 125c is so much different. Uh, the 50 cc's are so cheap compared to 125s. 
and you'd save so much money keeping the 50cc. Um, I'm sure if you if you bought your, uh, your 50cc brand new, then it's probably better off keeping it for another year, because uh, obviously, uh, you know, buying a brand new 50cc and selling it after a year is probably not the best idea. Um, I don't know, I don't know who would do that to be honest. Um, I mean, if you buy a 50cc brand new, it normally means you're gonna, you know. Have it when you're 16, when you're 16th birthday, ride it to, ride it to your 17, get your provisional, do your lessons, because that will take about 7 months and then obviously get a car. So that's around 2 years, which is about fine for 50cc. Um, so yeah, if you're planning on buying a car, then obviously keep the 50cc. You know, it's pretty much buying the 125 if you're planning on getting a car like I did. Bad mistake, so much money. Uh, did end up getting a nice car in the end though, so that was alright. Uh, but no, I, I do have to. Uh, I, remember, I, I need to do a video of this actually because I've got a really, really nasty message off the guy I sold it to. He's threatening to sue me. Um, yeah, the, ele the red Elex Elect Motor X TRS, not Electro. I was the one I was looking at with, instead of this. Um, so yeah, uh, when I sold that bike, um, I thought it was fine, to be honest I was young, I didn't really know all mechanics that much, um, so I put it up for sale, thinking yeah it was a really nice bike, and like, I had a link to my YouTube channel, so if you're you know interested, check the channel out, you know, watch the videos on there, because that's what you're going to be buying, I mean if I was buying a motorbike and I could watch it on YouTube, and some motor vlogger riding it, then obviously, bonus, you know, you can actually see it running then, and what it's like to ride. So I thought, you know what, this will, this will be a point uh, sale in the park. So I put it up for um, £800, I think, something like that. Um, some guy came to look at it, uh, said he wanted it. Uh, it was took me a little, you know, took it for a little test ride, like, took it up to the street and back again. I told him, like, literally every problem there was with it. I said it, it struggles to get into gear, uh, into gear sometimes, into neutral. You've got to, like, you know, kick it up and that. But that's uh, common on most 125cc Chinese bikes. This bike does it a few times, uh, but I think that's because I'm just wearing boots and I'm, uh, I, I just can't feel it. But I'm used to riding in shoes, I've never had boots before. So, that's what I went for my, uh, I, I tend to struggle getting this into neutral. Um, so yeah, when I was, uh, so, um, it went to tax the bike and insure it, so I could uh, obviously ride it on. And uh, the king said he wouldn't, it couldn't, I couldn't, he couldn't tax the bike because I have no idea where I am. I don't know if it's... No, I definitely didn't come past here. Definitely didn't come past here. Uh, so yeah, he said it couldn't insure because it had no MOT. And I was like, oh shit. I, I'd only had the bike six months. So I thought, you know, I didn't really expect it not to have no MOT, I didn't have any letter or anything. Uh, so it was like, will it pass its MOT? And I'm like, I'm sure it will, there's no problem with it, you know. I, I, if I took it for an MOT, I'd be pretty confident my bike in passing. So, uh, so we bought it, and we rode it home without ta out tax and without insurance. So that was his do, you know. It was his choice to buy it, and I was actually quite. I wanted to keep the bike because my mo my mate Harry, he, he just got his moped, so I I didn't actually he, he even want to really sell it. Um, so I was like, uh, so I was like trying to put him on really, and uh, my still took it. So, and then a few days later, he sent me a nasty message saying he wanted his money back. Uh, it failed at MOT and there was a big list of reasons and I was like, you know, I don't, I didn't deserve that, you know, I told him if he wanted to buy it, it was his decision, I didn't have to take it, I didn't have to take it, I could have it, you know, it's all the same, you know what I mean, uh, I said, no, uh, it, your, it was your mistake to buy it, I'm not, I'm not taking the terms, I told you I'd known it, you bought it without MOT, knowing it didn't have any MOT, 
And I was like, bro, you told me it would pass. And I was like, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a 17-year-old kid selling me bike. And I was like, I want to speak to your parents. I'm like, you know, this guy was like 19, and I was like 17. And I was like, there's no way I'm letting you speak to my parents. They won't give a shit. They really don't care. Oh, that was really funny. That made me, that made me do it. Uh, so, yeah. That was my experience. Uh, anyway, back to the topic of... Um, but why why you would buy a 125cc? So if you've bought a cheap 50cc, 200 quid, 300 quid, whatever, you know, and you're you you're really into bikes and you want to get into bikes, then yeah, I'd go on and buy a 125 because obviously they're so much more fun, a lot more fun than a 50. I'll tell you that now. Um, uh, well, if you've already got a car and you want a bit of fun in the summer, I'd buy a 125cc then, um, like I've done. Uh, really did make a mistake buying a, a 125cc when I, was seven, when I first turned 17. Um, it was just so much money and I was saving up for a car and my lessons and stuff and it, I just, it just was not worth it at all. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you've uh, already had a 50cc for two years or whatever and you're just looking for something a bit faster then obviously I'd go for a 125. If you've had a 50cc you've had it for a year and uh, you're commuting from out in out of town into town or whatever and you're on uh, you know, national speed in the road or dual carriageways then I definitely would buy a 125 because it's a lot safer than a 50cc. So yeah that's a uh, reasons of um, should you buy a 125 cc I've got um, another topic for another video is should you modify your 125 cc and that's like putting an exhaust on it or whatever um, so I probably will make a video of that next um, but uh, I just want to talk uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading videos is just due to the weather the weather has been so shit um, honestly, the weather's been absolutely crap. It's been raining every single day. Uh, I've also been working weird shifts. I've been doing a lot of nights, a lot of uh, closed shifts, which are 5 till 2 in the morning. Uh, so it didn't really give me enough time to make a video doing them that kind of shift, these those kind of shifts. Um, Yeah, uh, I did manage to make a video about a week ago, that's gone up. I've also got a montage video to make, it just involves a lot of editing to do those kind of videos. Uh, they don't get many views anyway, uh, it's just a bit of just a bit of fun for me to make. So I like making montage videos, because I like watching them back, it's quite, quite satisfying to watch. Like, it's a bit boring if you, you know, because people like to listen to the commentary and shit, so that's why I, I do the water vlogs rather than montages. But no, I remember like gaming videos, gaming montage videos used to be really popular back in the day, but they're not so popular anymore. Junction because I'm going straight on. So, yeah, I uh, think that's going to end the video. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. See you later.